<laughs> now this is Stacy Wilkins and she is going to be talking about the perfect party. So Okay, so whenever you go to your party, you definitely want to look slamming, right, from head to toe. And that doesn't mean, like, get dressed up in your red jacket or whatever. Okay, so if I wore these leggings that I have on today, camera, I hope you can see it, I would definitely wear a cute top, dressy, that covers my booty, and um, I definitely wear my bling. I always wear my bling, okay? So um, you want to look slamming, and your makeup, you want it to be nice and done, you want it to look great, because you are that model going to the party. So if you have a beauty tote, you can wear that with a pair of like skinny jeans or whatever. So um, so that's party attire. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do what I do at my parties with y'all, okay? So y'all are at my party right now, okay? Yeah. Okay. So I'm the consultant and I just party. Okay. Are y'all ready to get started? Yeah! Okay, I wish they were all as excited as y'all. <laughs> I like to start my parties off the exact same way. I like to love on my hostess. And Miss Holly over here is my hostess with the hostess. So we're gonna love on her just a little bit. Come over here so all the ladies in the camera can see you. This is my hostess, Holly. So we're going to love on Holly just a little bit. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get you guys involved. We're going to go around the room and I want you to say one thing, or first off, your name, so we all know your name, you don't know each other, how you know this lovely hostess, and one thing you love about this girl. Okay? Okay. And we don't really have to do it because it take up too much time. But that's how I start. <laughs> I know, right? That is my icebreaker. You can stand right here for just a second. Um, that's my icebreaker at my party. We go around the room. We say They say their names, how they know the hostess, and one thing they love about her. That way, it not only helps them to become comfortable in the setting, but it helps me to become comfortable standing in front of them. I get to sit back for a second and listen to them talk, okay? Then it comes all the way back to me, and now it's my turn to love on the hostess. So, I would say my name again. I'm Stacy, in case you all forgot. And I met Holly at the last party when she booked from so-and-so's party. And the one thing I love about you is, number one, I love your hair. It's so beautiful. <laughs> and then number two, I love the fact that you're a woman of your word. You booked this party with me, and you were committed, and you held it. So thank you so much. I always compliment them on one thing about their physical appearance and one thing about their character that I enjoy. And if you don't know them very well, so you don't know their character, well, they're booking that. They booked that party with you, and they held it. So they are a woman of their word. That's something about their character you like. And then I present another hostess gift. Um, There's nothing in the bag. But, um, <laughs> but uh, you want it to look cute. I even spray some baking and you perfume on it, okay? Because it, it will smell really good, and that's how you sell your perfume, right? So um, whenever I give my hostess a gift, usually we've already had one appointment. So I will get her, give her something off her wish list, okay? Not something huge, you know, maybe like a $15 item. If I don't know what she likes, let's say we, I just met her and she decided to book a party, I make up remover does great. And maybe a piece of bling. I get my bling from the dollar store, y'all, I'm a little cheap. Um, but it's cute still. It, it doesn't look necessarily cheap. But when we go to like different events, there's other <coughs> vendors set up that you can get stuff from too. Um, like the little jewelry vendors and stuff. So you present her with a hostess gift. There you go, yay! And then she opens it in front of everybody so everybody can see what they can get from <laughs> you if they were your hostess, right? Okay, that's how I start my parties off, right? So, yeah, now you can sit down and you can take the bag with you. Okay. But I do want it back because I will okay. use it. Um, but I'll let her keep it. Okay, so now, um, okay, so we just loved our hostess, right? Now we're back in party mode. Okay, so what I'm going to do um, now is I'm going to talk about the company, how we got started and where we are today, just for some of you who may not know about our company. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I started my business. And then we're going to play a fun game. And then we'll get into the skincare makeup. Y'all with me? Yes. Yeah. I like to get the layout from my sea personalities in the room at my party setting. I don't tell them that part, but for y'all to know, that's why I do that. Okay. Um, who in here has heard about Mary Kay before? Who in here has tried her products? Okay. That helps me to gain an understanding of who I'm dealing with. Okay. So I use my beauty book right here. So it, everyone has a beauty book right in front of them. So if you turn to the first page of your beauty book, you're going to see a picture of our founder. Mary Kay Ash. She actually started her business in 1963. This past September, we actually celebrated 51 years with Mary Kay. Time out. Hold on, let me go back. Sorry. It's not going to be a perfect party. But um, <laughs> one thing I like to do before I start talking about the company. Because what happens when you start talking about the company? Zone out. Do, 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 do. Okay. So all my, my uh, competitive women love this part. Okay, you guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about the company, how we got started, where we are today. And I want you all to listen very carefully.
Because at the very end of the night, I'm going to do some review questions. And all of those ladies in here who listen carefully and get those review questions right, you get a ticket. And then you get a ticket for one of these fabulous prizes up here. And I'll have like tons of prizes up here. So who in here wants a ticket or wants a prize? Okay, so listen carefully as I talk about the company, okay? I do that just to gain their attention. Okay, so we started in 1963. This past September, we actually celebrated 51 years with Mary Kay. How cool is that? Mary Kay started her company off with nine of her best girlfriends and her 20-year-old son. Did you know her 20-year-old son left his job of being paid $750 a month to go work for his mother only being paid $250 a month? He took a $500 pay cut because he believed that much in his mama's dream. Who would hear somebody like that in their life that believes that much in their dream? Anybody? Okay. Well, if you don't, you definitely need to get those dream believers in your life. It's important to have them in your life, ladies. Did you know that Mary Kay used to sell wigs? We started off as a wig and cosmetic shop. Who in here knew that we used to carry wigs? Okay. And now, of course, we dropped the wigs, and now we're a skincare and color cosmetic shop. Um, we... I do have my cheat sheet on the back, by the way, in case anyone wants to know. Um, so we started off as a wig and cosmetic shop. Mary Kay started her business with $5,000 in her savings account. $5,000. That was a lot back then. And then, of course, Mary Kay built her company around the golden rule, do it to others as you would have them do it to you. And she also built her business on priorities. Faith first, family second, career third. Who in here has had the job where it was like career, career, career? Anybody? Both my hands are up because I've had plenty of them. Okay, isn't it inspiring to know that you can work for a company that lives in your priorities just as much as you do? I was inspired about that when I heard about Mary Kay. So that's a little bit about how we got started. Now you're probably wondering where we are today. We are actually in over 35 different countries. We are worldwide. And in April of next year, we are actually opening up in the country of Columbia. Not the city in South Carolina for my southern girls, the country of Columbia. <laughs> how cool is that? We are one of the largest direct sale companies for skincare and color cosmetics in the world. We are still family owned and operated. We um, have a 100% satisfaction guarantee. So that means if you invest your money in Mary Kay products and you're not 100% satisfied, you can exchange it out for something else or you can get a refund on your money. How cool is that? Mary Kay believes that much in their products. We do three years worth of research before we launch our products to the market. And guess what else? We are made right here in the U.S. We are one of two cosmetic companies that still make their products right here in the U.S. Us and Estee Lauder. And I'm sure we all know who Estee Lauder is, right? Mm. And guess what, you guys? You know how I said she started off with $5,000 in her bank account? We are now a $3 billion company with zero debt. We are not going anywhere. How cool is that? So that's a little bit about where we are now. Did you learn something there? Yes. 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 Even my consultants said, okay, great. <laughs> so, uh, oh, one other thing I did talk about is the charities. Okay, so we have two big charities that we support. The first one, of course, is Cancers Affecting Women. We all know somebody who has um, suffered with breast cancer, ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, the list goes on and on. Last year alone, Mary Kay donated $2 million, raised $2 million for our Cancers Affecting Women charity. That's a pretty big deal, right? And what that does is they get split up to different grants and distributed to different research facilities all over the U.S. to help find a cure for these cancers. Another, can or another charity that we're uh, really huge with is domestic violence affecting women and children. Did you know that one in every three women that you come in contact with has either been a victim of domestic violence in the past or will in the future? That's probably about five of us in the room today. And the statistics are only rising. So Mary Kate has a voice, and they want to stop domestic violence affecting women and children, and I love that about our company. And last year alone, we raised $3 million for this charity, and what that does is it, it gets distributed to different $20,000 grants and sent to different shelters all over the U.S. to help provide a safe haven for these women and children. So that's pretty cool. So just know that when you invest your money in your Mary Kay products, you're not only investing in great quality products, but you're also investing in the lives of those around you. So that's a little bit about where we was go, or how we started and where we are today. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about why I started my Mary Kay business. And this is where I'll share my story. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and share it for those of you who haven't not heard it. Okay, so I actually started my Mary Kay business two and a half years ago in May of 2012. A month prior to Mary Kay, in April of 2012, um, I had just left my job. Prior to Mary Kay, I was a loan officer. I was working at a financial institution. I was working crazy hours, long days, and that was great until I had my sweet little man. And then I just wanted to be with him more, right? So I left my job in April of 2012, and I had no plan B. I came home and said, hey, honey, I quit my job. And he's like, okay, well, what's your backup plan? I didn't have one. 
So I started putting in resumes and, and looking for somewhere that was hiring with reasonable work hours. Nobody was. I prayed, God, please bring me something. Two weeks later, I was invited to a Mary Kay skincare party. I almost didn't go because I really didn't know anybody. I was a guest of a guest that was invited to that party, so I knew nobody except for the girl who invited me. But I really needed to get out of the house. I had been a stay-at-home mom for two weeks, and I was about to lose my mind. Okay, <laughs> so it is not that easy. So I went to that skincare party that night, and that's where I met my sales director, Mary Ann Lorette. And she shared her story that night. And her story was like the epitome of mine except 15 years prior. She worked in finance. She had a one-year-old son at home. She wanted to get out of corporate America and be full-time with her little man at home. Hearing her story that night really intrigued me. A year um, into her business, she earned her very first Mary Kay career car. She's been driving a free car ever since. Her husband was laid off during the course of her career, and her income was able to help them through that. I mean, I loved what I heard that night. And so... After that party that night, I chatted with Mary Ann. One thing led to another, and I became a beauty consultant with Mary Kay. Yay! And, of course, that was two and a half years ago, and I'm still here today. So, uh, so I'm putting so I'm up on the dollar, right? Now, I wanted to show y'all, after I started my business, Mary Ann, my sales director, said, okay, find your why. Why do you want to grow your Mary Kay business? Why do you want to work for Mary Kay? And I said, okay, well, I have two big whys. My sweet little man and my husband. And I actually brought a picture for you. And you just pass around. Okay, money cannot buy you happiness, but it can provide you with a lifestyle of choices. And I love the fact that I have the choice to stay at home with my sweet little man every single day. And I get to watch him grow up. I love that. I love the fact that when he becomes school age, we can put him in a Christian school if we choose to. I also love the fact that when he starts playing sports, because my husband already said he's at Ohio State, he does an Ohio State <laughs> football player. So when he does become uh, on up there, I mean, we got to start early. So I love the fact that when he needs his football gear or whatever sports he's going to be involved in, that we can provide him with that and not have to worry about where the money's going to come from. My Mary Kay career can, can pay for that. So I love the choices that it provides me for my sweet little man. And then, of course, my big man. He's my other wife, my husband. We are military, and as most of you know in here, we actually just made a pretty big move from North Carolina. We uh, got orders to 20 Hops, California, and had to relocate. So I love the fact that I could pick my stuff up and just move it with me. I didn't have to worry about putting a two-week notice in or finding a job when I got out to where I was going. And you know what? My husband silently supported me for a long time until he saw how supportive I could be of his career. And now he really supports my married business. He absolutely loves the fact that I can help him put his career first and fully support him. So those are my two whys uh, in my business. Okay. Side note for all the consultants, when you're talking about yourself, you want to keep it half the time that you talk about Mary Kay and the company, okay? 